We begin with a 12 News exclusive. New claims of fraud in the effort to recall Assembly Speaker Robin Voss. The Racine County District Attorney now investigating. Some residents outraged. 12 News political director Matt Smith tonight with the outcry. Can you sign your signature? Yes. We don't often ask people for their signatures, but Don Hagerty's signature. It's a little different. A little different, yes is quite different than the one on the petition in her name and address to recall Assembly Speaker Robin Voss. And you did not sign the recall? I did not sign the recall, and I declined signing the recall. You were asked to? Yes. The signature says it was collected from a volunteer or paid worker from Georgia, as tonight a growing number of examples of potential fraud in what appears to be a failed attempt to recall one of the state's most powerful Republicans. These two examples, the same name and address, two separate pages, completely different signatures. Now the Racine County District Attorney telling 12 News her office has received more than two dozen complaints. How big of a deal is this to you? It's a very big deal. Yeah. I feel extremely violated. Um, I am a librarian if I can say that and uh, the truth matters to me and I teach students about using primary documents and my name is now on a primary document. Um, furthermore, I know that the intention of this petition was to go back to what people thought was voter fraud in the state of Wisconsin, and this document represents that very thing. In a statement today, recall organizers admitted a few unverified petitions slipped through due to a volunteer oversight, but also claimed sabotage involved recruiting individuals from outside Wisconsin to introduce fraudulent signatures. So Campaign is, organizer Matt Snork when questioned last week. There's a number of avenues these things come in from different ways and angles. So um, all I can speak for is my core group and all of us running this operation ran it with uh, integrity. Matt joins us now from the newsroom. Matt, what is next in all of this? Joyce, the district attorney tonight is continuing to urge people to come forward who believe their name was fraudulently added. Our attempts to reach that person from Georgia today who say they collected that batch of signatures was not successful. Meantime, tonight, an initial review from the Elections Commission staff shows the group did not collect enough valid signatures. A final review, though, is underway. Speaker Voss has until later this week to officially challenge those petitions. Stay on it, political director. Matt Smith reporting live from the newsroom. Thank you.